So basically, how I am, I started off very young age itself, reading so many things. Then science, physics, cosmic rays, space, variety of them. And I have also meandered around through poetry and all that. A reasonable book, somebody at least says it is good. So then technology, business and all, all that has led to me, that is a continuum. World is a continuum. Life is a continuum. But now let us look at, is it a continuum normally means continuous. We think it is all straight. It is not. The entire thing is not a dead uniformity. It is a wonderful diversity if you go inside. And also many opposites. The world is full of opposites. Man, woman, photon, electro, wave, particles, proton, neutron, electron, you can just keep on adding. In the economics, market forces, demand and supply, variety of them. I, I don't want to dwell upon each one of them. You imagine for yourself. So it is the diversity of opposites. And often they are connected, but often they are not also. See a crocodile, that fellow, that birds which, are, which will go inside, dare to go inside, that's called symbiotic relationship. That's also there, plenty. If it is not, that crocodile will lose the teeth because that's the only strength for it. So that is symbiotic relationship. It is opposite connected, symbiotic relations, then they form various syncretic forms. I, I don't want to get into it. The economics I've gone through. So now, go to the next one. It's known knowledge, life, Everything, all continue. I'll give some only very few examples here. Uh, okay, okay. I think it is not going forward. Huh? Can you change it there? No, no. Uh, I am pressing this. Huh? Can you press it? I think this is the problem of. This is also a pro problem. You know, higher the technology, there are also more complications come there. It's also a part of it. No, no problem. I am a technologist. I don't. I don't worry about it. If you look at nature, start from Big Bang and all that, leave it off. Come to the matter, cell evolution. It is in a process of continuous experimentation. Making, whether it makes mistakes, whether it does deliberately, we don't know. It doesn't bother about failure or success. Keep on changing, mutating without. Then, that is how life is. So that is where things are formed. And they are opposites. There are lumps, you look at it, sun, a huge one, then earth, etc., etc. When we talk about on the other side, some few people very rich, there is a Pareto equilibrium, I think one of the person talked about it, and then rest of it is average. Do you know that 99% of the weight of the solar system is in sun only? Rest of all that whole thing, it's all chota chota fellows. So it's very, very, very interesting, but that, that, that make think rich. So, if you look at that way, now okay, these are all very far away. Evolution you are telling, you are telling about this. Let us come very near. Take the light, visible light. You also know, I think most of you, you are not even studied necessarily science, will at least remember VIPGR. And most urban people, younger people would not even see the rainbow, Ramban. Nahi dekha hoga. Theek hai, then forget that. See the, Learn, see the prism, forget that also. The oil trucks in the road or a gutter, you find that. So that all this is VIPGR, but is it only seven colors? You see it is so beautifully spread out. It's a continuum. The color, because we said seven, because we can, our language is limited. Science fellows go one level further, they will say, Jai Raman is here, you will tell them. They will say only three primary colors. We see three primary colors, Cow won't see that. So anyway, leave these things. It's a very, very interesting process. So then, in this, is it also over? Then, in sun itself, there is something called live and alpha lines. Some of you have done physics. It is real. There are in between some very bright parts, very small, and they continue. Why I am telling this? You will find it in life too. I am bringing in the discontinuity. Now, okay. Uh, this one color is very small, very small. You go, you see, it ends in violet this side, or let me take left and right. The young man was telling left and right. If you see from there, right and left changes. So 
I don't know whether it is going down or up. Red. Here. Is it dense in red? Infrared. You, at least you would have heard about it. Infrared heating. Like this it goes on. Millimeter wave. Goes up to 50 cycles which you get here. Electricity. Then it goes on there. Ultraviolet. X-rays. Gamma rays. All the spectrum. Can you believe that they are all one? They belong to the same one item. Maxwell's four beautiful, simple equations. They obey on one side. But if you go near, the 50 cycle is not like this, right? X-rays are not like this. Inside, each of them is a cosmos. That is why each of the presentation, one may be on art, one may be on something, they have dug into a whole continuum. So that's the nature of life. This is, the, in other words, a huge spectrum. In between some lumps, variety of differences, and then still they belong one. Now let me complicate the matter further. So you all, sun, light, you, mostly you know light is a wave. That is why you get prism and all. But this is also a particle. Photon. In fact, uh, Einstein did not get his uh, Nobel Prize for Relativity. For photoelectric emission, he got it. So that is there. So the huge continuum with immensity of diversity within itself. Similarly, science, you all know science, this is a scientist, this fellow, somebody thinks that just because I have got a hair, uh, they think that I am a scientist. Then I will, many young people ask me, hey, Baba, if that is so simple, you can all grow hair. So it's, it's not that simple. I happen to be put into that. I don't know why. So, search for knowledge becomes different when it comes to, say, technology. You heard about some very specific acoustics, so it goes very narrow. But it itself is this. So, the science, technology, the businesses, the market forces, there is a huge continuum. If you don't understand, the science cannot be applied. The technology cannot be applied. Then the market forces, the thing in itself is this. This continuum, those who don't understand and then try to practice any small segment, the inventions, oh, many people will tell you, oh, I did this, nothing happened. It goes to what is called as valley of death. I have not invented the word. This, it exists. It's called valley of death. It goes up. So, technology, business loss, there are laws there. Though they have to be taken care. So, success is, now, let me now tell you, is that all very clean, linear from here? Science, technology, market, and market surveys, you feed it back here, and then do a lot of papers, which will give some that curse, beautiful curse we're showing, regression equations. It's not it. Beyond this, yes, they're all very important, but beyond this, there are some people who will jump out of that linearity. They will not think in terms of one alone. See, I will not, not tell the answer, you won't find out. Uh, why the Archimedes? Found that he was taking nice bath of the warm tubs with the Egyptian girls who were treating him. He age of 16, but he found out only in 42 the Eureka. Why it happened? Because those two planes did. Read Arthur Kessler's book. So here, so somebody has to jump out. That is why, very important, Einstein, we all know. He was not sticking around in the third dimension alone. So you went into the fourth dimension, added it. Lewis de Broglie suddenly went into particle. No, nearby, Steve Jobs, he always says, when I do market survey, he does a lot of it. I don't take it that he doesn't do. He'll do a lot of it. If I do a market survey, three years from now, people's idea will be different by when I bring a market. So he's able to jump into the unfelt need. That is intuition. That is tough. That is creativity. So those who want to do, since he was telling about Urdu, uh, but I was worried whether this audience, whether I can use an Indian language or not. Now, anyway, this was easy. Subhahoti, those who want to continue to do what they continue to do without much. Subhahoti, Hasham Hoti, Umra Yuhi, Tamam Hoti. You want a creativity, you'll have to learn to jump out. Those things are necessary. So again, that small diversity, that fellow thought differently. That creates a new one, and then after that, it doesn't stay alone. It creates a continuum of its own. That is why you will find 
all this one disruptive technology, all that you disruptive doesn't disrupt, disrupt. Okay. So next, then if you look at it, this is what since I was dabbled with astronomy, we then we know bi bi biotechnology cells and all these things. If you look at, you have powers of ten. On that side, astronomy scales, cosmic scales. It will go into 10 raised to 27 and all that stuff. So forget that if you know what that index means. Then down, nano. Nano means 1 by 100 crore. 100 crores. That is, 1 meter is divided into 100 crores. Then 10,000 crore is pico. Then science has got worlds beyond that also. which can go very small. What I learned from 13, 14, around by 20 and all, science was supreme. 60s. We knew everything will be solved by science. Everything will be done by science. Now it is no longer. We know the limitations. So we learned that scientism is gone. I am not going to expand on it. So I learned from the various religions. Religion not only big ones. Big, small, small cultures. One man who did it fantastically very well, who, who I can consider, I, in fact I met him also, Mure Gelman. You read the book Park and the Jaguar. Fantastic. So that is where it led to a thing that naturally you have to reject all one point solutions. Because nowadays what happens is everybody gives for everything one solution, this, remove this, remove that. Even a washing machine requires a fuzzy logic. If you can't have digital, one zero is very nice. I need for communication, I, I will defend it for that. But don't digitize your mind. Say yes, no. So many surveys which are coming. So, no, uh, but that doesn't mean I am abandoning scientific approach. It is one of the finest, beautiful thing. You have to have it, but it itself has built in a humility which people don't know. Science is the only thing, at least to the extent, I won't say only thing, because it will be uh, wrong if I say it. There may be some other place where it will be so, in the, in the human knowledge domain. Science is one, one thing which has built in falsification. Where, where you, how, when are you doing a good scientist? You have to learn to falsify even your own thing. You have to continue to do that. So that one is the utmost of humility. Coming to two current issues, I just want to show some two examples. But this fellow is floating in the air or what is it? Climate change. Yes, there is some reality about it. And it is not as though nowadays the Bombay flood is a climate change. That is a, to about 75% of it is a total negli negligence over 40, 50 years. I have been, uh, 13 years, we used to lift the pant like this and walk into a kinking circle. And always worried about which one will be open. We knew everything. So now to say, but there is some problem there. But now look at what solutions they give. Carbon emission you remove, over. Is that enough? What about plastic bottles? What about the facial tissues, you know, the amount of water and other thing goes to make a facial tissue, how many forests are used. But they don't look at it because it belongs to a, a, a developing world, it is fine. India is rich and super rich, it is fine. But what happens if 7.5 billion people and 10 billion plus it is going to become, if all adopt them, they want that, what will happen? Think about it. So solutions are that I am giving some is that do, do not try to put single point solution. Uh, is it six minutes or is it over? Go 12? Ahead, ahead, no, no, okay. No, no, they said that some light will be shown. So labor, similarly, here we need to see how to reduce consumption. Reduction of consumption cannot be done by technology. How much you can remove, uh, this is a uh, lower one, I am putting LED, but making LED you have to present something else. All that takes place. So there is a limit, limits of physics, limits of natural laws. It can't do beyond that. So how do you do is limiting consumption. Limiting consumption means it is not one standard. See the Guinea coefficient that all people talk. American Guinea coefficient, the fellow who is in the bottom of the poverty is $15 per, per day. GDP is $15 per day. That is for 70% of the world's people are having that. And therefore, don't compare Guinea coefficient in India and there is very different. So we need to understand that the consumptions will be different. If consumptions are different, that means your standards are different. You can't put the same uh, water standard if you put. Uh, uh, an engineer cannot give it. Then he will say, I want to do that. 
it can be different. But nobody said that 50 particles per minute, this one, that uh, suspension is the one if it becomes 60, it will become much cheaper. But now what we do, we put that standard and then we don't de we deny uh, water to most people. So another one is labor productivity. I will quickly tell about the labor productivity. What is labor productivity? You don't have to be a great economist. The value, what a sigma, that is the collective of the labor, creates in a day or a year or whatever you want to take, is this, or in a factory. If you want to increase it, again, as I said, technology-wise, you can be changing this machine, that machine, this robo, that robo, there is a limit. It does it. How do you do finally? Numerator, I don't think this is a very hard uh, mathematics for you. Numerator and a denominator. Value created divided by the number of people employed. Now, if you put this, only method is remove, remove, remove it bottom. So that is what has been, I had written about this quite a few times before, not only me, there are people who have pointed it out. So it goes on continuous process. It will reduce jobs. Various other solutions will not work. You have to have different standards of income. We should celebrate them, not saying that this is the only way to live. This is the only suit to, in fact, I had to come on these things. Why do we need iron at all? We are wasting energy. So we need to think about these things, the levels of consumption, but we need proper hygiene. We can't say that uh, hygiene is not uh, this thing, those are all necessary. So we need to think about different ways of living because human being cannot live without work. If you just, I'm giving you money, it won't work. Because it is bad. The evolutionarily, we are all made to do work. So, next one. So, therefore, we need to kill the now other demands of, there are some one or two beautiful ones. I deal with them also a little bit, various religions and etc, etc. I, I, I don't have time to pursue them here. And I have written it in some other book. I don't want to refer those things. So, but I will tell you one thing. In an art, the ultimate of how you see the continuum is told by one of my very favorite poet, national poet. He writes always in Tamil. He was exceedingly good in English also, but he took a thing, Subramanya Bharati. I will tell it and then I will translate it for you. Kakkai kuruvi yengal jadi, nigal kadalu malayu mengal kuttam, nokkum dishayalam namandri verillai, nokka nokka kali yattam. Now what it is? Kakai means crow, kuruvi, they are all my caste, they are jadi. Nigal malay, malay, nigal malayum kadalu mengal kuttam, the whole expanse of mountains and the oceans, they are my tribes. Which place when I see, we are always there, it is us, us, us. By seeing this, that is my greatest joy. That is, a, in fact, a real expression of what a continuum of this universe and life is. So that is the thing one has to see. The universe, life is a continuous. With the diversity of existence, as its direct core. See, he, he didn't leave the diversity. He left, told about the crow. He told about the uh, uh, sparrow. He told about the mountain. Then within that is the one the, with diversity of existence as the essential core. Then last two slides, I will close it. This, I am going to take it a little bit reader. If we understand this fact, that's a diversity, it's a continuum, there is a connection, there is an oppositeness, there is a symbiotic relationship, discrete steps, diversities, and continuum keep on opening, opening, opening. So this is how, if we internalize and act, act, we will abandon one size fit all solution which have created most of the problems of the modern world with extreme forms of terrorism. You those who try to go towards one point goal, they are the people inherently terrorists. Inherently extremists, therefore they will be terrorists. So therefore, we need to accept the ideology of diversity. We would have adopted many forms of empathy. Empathy, I know, I don't know to explain to this audience. That empathy is the one which will destroy extremism. So you need to do that. And tolerance. Tolerance is a subset of empathy. There may not be a hypothetical uniformity of homogeneity or even theoretical constructs of equality. 
possible. I have told you about Gini coefficient. We have to think of this and why it is required that 10 billion people are going to come. And we are going on, our longevity is going on increasing. People like me would have gone. When I was born, age expectancy was 32, 1944. For a male, 26 for a female. Now it's still around, kicking around. So more will be there. Many of those who are born millennia will be 100 years. We need this and we don't like to people die. It's also a good, good part. So that one, you have to achieve how you do. That is the reality. I think that is all I think I have. Thank you.